So I'm joined now by Brian O'Reardin, General Manager with Lely Mitchellstown. Brian, thanks for joining me. Thanks. Brian, we're here beside the Lely Astronaut A5. I suppose, can you tell me a bit about the robot uh, first off? Okay, so this is Lily Astronaut A5. So it's our fourth incarnation of the robot to hit the market. The first was the A2. Uh, that was back in 2004. Uh, then that was followed by the A3 around 2008. The A4 followed in 2011 and 12. And this is here since 2018. So like the, the basic premise of the cow enters the robot uh, by herself. Uh, every cow would have a collar on them. So the collar identifies the cow. It tells one cow from from the other, because every cow's got a small bit different treatment inside the robot. Uh, her milking interval might be slightly different, her feeding ratio might be slightly different, so how much ration she gets. So cow walks into the robot, she gets a little bit of a feed inside the robot, and then her arm goes underneath and attaches to the cow. Okay. So I suppose what's unique about it is, is our milking system. We've got a, a four effect pulsation system, which is unique in the market. We also have cluster takeoff per quarter. So no quarter of the cows ever uh, over milked around the milk. Okay. And I suppose, Brian, how many cows would a robot like this take comfortably? Okay, so our typical herd would have between 60 and 75 cows on it. You know, so uh, that's our typical single robot herd. Uh, if you, after that, then you're on about two robots then. So two robots would do maybe, you know, up to 140 cows. So, you know, so 60 to, to 70 would be a good average of what's on a standard robot in Ireland. And just say if a farmer had around 80 cows, couldn't push, um, hadn't enough land was maxed out um, there was no option of renting ground could you push the robot to 80 cows or yeah, does it depend on the, the farm yeah it's all it depends on cow type it's depending on milk speed it's depending look some cows maybe if they're timid you'd have to uh, make time just to make sure that they get on the robot maybe have yeah. a holding area for them or something like that like mm. so but then we also have second hand opportunities so there's we have second hand robots from time to time so we might see people with 80 90 cows they might put in maybe two second-hand robots, you know, for instead of a new robot. So, look, come talk to us and we figure out a making solution uh, for the farmer. Perfect. And I suppose, uh, Brian, in terms of um, the, the robot itself, like, how long making time, or obviously it averages per cow, but, like, roughly, what's the making time per cow? Yeah, roughly about, you know, six to ten minutes a cow is roughly around the, the making time of the cow. It's, it's very dependent on the cow's let down, you know, so if you've yeah. got a good free cow, you know, she can be milked in six, seven minutes, so you're, some cows can go over ten minutes. But like, yeah. what you do with people who have um, uh, who have robots for a considerable period of time, milk speed is very, it's a very heritable trait. So they breed for milk speed to get the maximum amount of output out of their robot. And this machine, Brian, just makes the cow. How is it, or how is it, does it, is it a long process of getting cows trained into a robot if they're coming from maybe a conventional system or starting off? Yeah. A new entrant. Well, the, the machine just doesn't milk the cow just on that. It, it gives you an awful lot of information, like such yeah. as cow health information. It gives you the temperature of every cow. It gives you a protein, a butter fat indication, a cell count indication. And it can tell you if the cow has any health issues. Uh, in terms of training cows in, I mean, your typical cow on a robot, it takes, you know, three or four weeks to train the cow to the robot itself. You know, after week two, you will see a really significant change of cows coming to the robot voluntarily. You know, to train them to grazing, to, we have a graze bait gate, which is a selection gate that, you know, we normally do ABC grazing. Mm. That could take six weeks to train up cows. But once the cows train on the system, they'll always be trained into the system. So, you know, it's just train them once. Then every year you'd have, um, you have heifers to bring on every year. What's, what's also unique about our robot is we got what's called eye flow, which means the cow walks straight in and straight out of the robot. So. You know, it's very easy for a cow to learn. There's no turning or angles or sharpness. Okay. So it's very easy for a cow to learn to flow through the robot. Perfect. Brian, look, thanks again for your time. Thanks okay, very much. Lovely. Thanks Thank very you. much for being here. Thank you.